all right guys so customer states fuel gauge is working intermittently all right so i'm doing a self-diagnostic right now all right so right now the fuel gauge should be going from empty to full and the coolant temperature from cold to hot but the fuel gauge is reading backwards okay you can see all the lights at the gauge control module they're lit up uh, everything is functioning correctly with the gauge control module okay so i'm going to turn on the vehicle that way you guys can understand a little bit better look at the look closely at the fuel gauge it's stuck in the up position or in the full position when it should be reading only a quarter full. All right, in order to access the instrument panel, you gotta remove this lower cover, this cover where the gauge control module is, and also the audio unit. The audio unit, you can see it, it's right here with this back trim which the back trim goes to this instrument cluster panel right here. Lower panel only has clips, there's no bolts, okay? So that's what it looks like. Okay, in order to remove this one where the gauge control module is, you gotta remove this Phillips screw right here. All right, after you remove the screw that's down here, you can just use one of this uh, trim tools. I'll be showing you the kit that I have. All right, and then you could just pull on this cover right here and they'll come right off, okay? All right, so I've removed my gauge control module cover or the panel. All right, it only has one plug, one connector, okay? And if you were gonna replace the gauge control module, there's only three screws, one down here, another one here, and the last one here. And you should be able to pull it and unplug it, put the new one back in, and you'll be on your way. But if you're replacing the gauge control module, um, if you want to keep the same mileage that your vehicle had, you have to take it to a Honda dealership or to a shop so they can put back the same mileage that your gate that your gate control module had. All right. But in this case, I'm only replacing the instrument panel. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove. There's another screw here. There's another one right here, and then I gotta remove this outer unit. Alrighty guys, so to remove this outer unit, you gotta remove this lower cover underneath. There is two bolts holding the outer unit in each corner. Uh, they look like this, okay? So this vehicle only had one. So this is what I used. I used my quarter inch ratchet with the eight millimeter long uh, socket. All right, to make it easier access, you can remove this cover for the, the shifter that way you you're able to insert you're able to insert the key just like so you push down and you have access to move the shift lever all the way down all right and i also put down the parking brake i set it all the way down i put it all the way back to one and i have plenty of access uh, to here to the outer unit once you have removed the two bolts you just pry it on here on this outer unit and and it comes right off just like so okay so I'll, i'm gonna leave it hanging i'm not gonna take it off all the way because you can take it off hang it here but i'm gonna just leave it or get enough room so i can just remove the instrument panel all right guys so i have removed the screw that goes here the screw that goes in there and there's another one in this corner right here. Okay. So this is the last one I gotta remove. And this is how I'm gonna leave the audio unit. Okay. Alrighty, once you remove all the screws holding the panel, you just pull up and this panel should come right off. Just like so. All right, once you remove the panel, there is again, three screws, one here, another one here and another one on this side 
Alrighty, so I purchased a used uh, instrument cluster uh, and this is the old one right here. All right, so it's only one connector. All right, so right now we just gotta put everything back in that reverse order. All right, so I have the new or the used instrument cluster back on. I'm getting ready to install uh, the screws. All right, so this one and on the other side, it has an alignment pin that you can slide it in. So it sits under properly. Okay, you can see it better on this side. Alrighty, so I have the new instrument cluster installed. So I'm gonna put it to neutral, okay? I connected uh, for the select uh, button on this side, and then I'm gonna start the vehicle to confirm repairs. All right, so this instrument cluster, it's not working. And this is a used unit that I purchased from eBay. Okay, so right here, we have a defective instrument cluster. So this is why I wanted to check it before uh, putting everything back and then finding out the instrument cluster panel does not work like in my case right now you see it's all black all right so i'll be contact contacting the company and and hopefully they can send me a new one out all right so this is the original one from the vehicle all right here is the part number this 7800 sna a141 all right so if we look at the other one it's different. So instead of the SNA, this one SBA, A020. Okay. So it's definitely the part, the wrong part number they sent me out. Okay. And it slightly looks a little bit different. Alrighty guys, so all the tools that I used for this uh, 2010 Honda Civic was this tool right here okay this plastic trim uh, a ratchet quarter ratchet with the eight millimeter socket on it a phillips screwdriver and a flathead and that is it in order for you to remove all this plastic panels okay, so this plastic trim tool kit it's perfect for interior work all right you get to see there's pliers there's to remove clips and also a stereos all right and also connector pins and all that good stuff so i think i paid around 20 bucks so i'll put it in my description so that if you guys if you guys need something like this you guys can purchase it i bought it from amazon so this process is for uh, 2006 to 2011 uh, two door and four door vehicles. Okay, so it's the same process for this generation Civic All right, so if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel There's a lot more content coming up and also I will be reposting another video once I get the new instrument cluster and Confirm the repairs. Alrighty guys. Stay tuned